Let's see what we've got. It should be a blue one. Hopefully it's blue. Yeah. Oh, we got her secured quite well. Maybe I shouldn't wreck the box. We'll be cautious. Oh, looking good. We have manuals, we have decals, and we got a pretty blue buggy with a uh, nitro motor. So, hey guys, it's out of the box. Couple of zip ties to cut underneath, and then um, we'll see what we got. Here's some of the body styles. I already have the bug body, I run it on my Tamiya Grasshopper. And then um, it comes with a Fly Sky radio, and I have good luck with my old one, has a uh, really good range on that. And then it's nice to get your owner's manual for the Fly Sky for if you bind more uh, receivers to it or something. And then here's the decals. Decals are always good when you scratch the body, you can fix the scratches. And then um, manual has uh, part numbers, even the engine, diagram and then all your part numbers and stuff now i tried to get hsp nitro and for a month um i chatted a bunch of stores and they're all out of stock so i don't know what happened with hsp but the nice thing about them parts are easier to get than the vrx but people you know complain about the radio with the hsp doesn't have good range and then i guess the recoil breaks all the time on the HSP motor and this one is um, I guess it's a Taiwan motor it's FC or force they call it and some of the big guys on YouTube that um, are big nitro guys they say you're really getting a good motor you know for a budget price when you buy this buggy so yeah it's got the shocks are nice and oil filled I don't think I have to do anything with that and then uh, I was looking to gas tank is pretty cool it's got a catcher here if you spill some it'll drain out the bottom of the buggy but i have the proper uh squeeze tube with that bent spout so i shouldn't spill too much and on the hsp it just has a square exhaust manifold down and there so here you're actually actually got a nice header system a nice pipe so i would think get some better flow that way but the store i got this from on Shopee in the Philippines, he says he knows people at VRX, so he can get me any part I need, because that's the only thing that held me back from VRX in the beginning. There's some parts listed, but not every part, and that's where the HSP looked a little more attractive, because it's so easy to get recoils and to get um, suspension parts and stuff, but this guy said if I break something, just, you know, send him a photo of the uh, part number and he can get it for me so i guess that's not too bad if you guys live in the u.s uh you haven't made because um aliexpress is pretty much the exclusive uh dealer for vrx and then if you're in europe uh according to what i saw on youtube ftx is the rebranded version of this so in europe you can get parts ftx or vrx are pretty much meant to be the same thing so um i'm gonna i got some good fuel on the way i tried this zero percent in my old hpi but it doesn't start good and it did not idle good so um it ran when it was running it ran pretty good but i ordered some expensive 16 percent nitro so uh, we'll try that so i'll just read my manual and uh, check this thing over a little bit get ready to go you know these are these are expensive to maintain like a gallon of fuel is like uh 40 dollars us dollars you can buy a really good lipo battery for 40 dollars and it's going to last you a long time but I was a, kind of a mechanic for a lot of my years, and I just like little engines, and it's been a long time since I've had something like this, the HPI I just got like a month ago or so, so I just want to have the uh, loud sound and the smoke and uh, have a little fun with it. Uh, getting a little bored, I guess, with lipos and brushless, it's too easy, you plug them in and go. So this is always a challenge, you gotta tune high-speed needle, tune your adjust your idle sometimes and if you change brands of fuel and you got to start over with tuning and yeah so but thanks for watching and hopefully we'll have it going next time 
Okay, I put the batteries in and checked the electrical system. There's four double A's that go in the receiver box. And then in that pack, I wrapped electrical tape around it because I saw a couple guys recommending doing that. Like if you took a jump and a battery would jump out and you got some throttle, it'll keep going. You won't be able to uh, stop it. And then there's eight double A's in this thing. So I got the transmitter off. Now when I turn on the receiver, it jumps and it jams the brakes, so that's good. If you lost uh, range, it'll hit the brakes. So that's a good feature. And then when I turn on the radio, there, it released and it went back to neutral. So, um, yep, we'll see. We got right is right, left is left, and then throttle, and then uh, brake. It'll uh, push on the uh, little disc brake that's right there and I forgot to mention this one's a single speed it's just got the one gear um, you can always upgrade to the two speed or you can buy the one with the two speed but um, I think just uh, for me ripping around wide open making lots of noise that would be good enough I saw like the HSP videos the guys were tweaking on it quite a bit to get it to shift at where they wanted it to shift and I'm like ah that's just one more thing to worry about but um yeah single speed i grew up with just single speed so that's good enough for me so uh thanks for watching hopefully next video we'll have it up and running